what's up YouTube today I'm going to be showing you how to send encrypted messages to people using their public PGP keys now the very first thing you're gonna to need to do is there go to GPG for win or whatever PGP um, encryption slash decryption software you want to use uh, go to it download it and install it on your computer I use GPG for win uh, specifically Cleopatra for key management and all that shit. Um, you can use whatever you like, but this is just a really simple short tutorial on how to use Cleopatra and some other information about PGP key, PGP encryption. All right. Okay. So the very first thing you want to do in uh, PGP encryption is find whoever whoever you're sending the message to. You will find their public PGP key, and it should look something like uh, like this this is what a pgp look pgp key looks like if you can find it anywhere should be available on people's emails if they want to receive encrypted messages should be available on sites anyway you you need this in order to send it, uh your recipient an encrypted message and once you've done that, simply take, once you've found your uh, recipient's PGP key, just take it, copy it, and then paste it into a text document like I have here. And now the next thing you need to do is go to File, go to Save As, and change that to All Files and do pgpkey.gpg. Because what that's going to do is, watch right there, that's going to make a new file that is not a text file, that's a GPG file. And with that file, what you can do is you can go into Cleopatra or whatever key management software you want to use, go to wherever you save the GPG file, I just hit on the desktop, and now hit open. Because now it will have imported that key. And now you can use this key to encrypt uh, messages and then send them to that person. This isn't a real email, by the way, so. I don't know, don't send it to that person. Alright, so now obviously, next question is, how do you encrypt messages? And that's very, very easy. All you want to do is take whatever text you want to encrypt. I'll just show you in a text document, but you can do it out of an email or a browser or a word, whatever you want. Copy it. Click on your system tray, go to the Cleopatra icon, or whatever key management software you're using. Right click, go to clipboard, and go to encrypt. Now you need to add the recipients, and these are whatever recipients you want to use to, you want to, uh, to be able to decrypt your message. And go, let's go to other certificates. We can go to no name, that's the key it's just using. And we can hit next. And that means it succeeded. This means it worked. And now the very next thing you'll notice is that saved to your clipboard is the encrypted message. Now, if you paste this into, say, an email, and then the person whose key you used receives that email, they are the only person who will be able to decrypt this message. PGP saw PGP encryption is a uh, very good. I think it's a military standard PGP encryption. The U.S. government actually used to try and block it from being exported, but now anyone can use it, which is awesome. And just, well, anyway, just put that into the body of your email, and then hit send. And that's that's pretty much it. That's all there is. All right. Uh, leave a like. Hit subscribe. Thank you. Uh, and if you're wondering about how to receive an encrypted message and then decrypt it, I think I'm going to do another video of that very, very shortly. But I've... Feel like they're they're kind of they're a little complicated, so I'll do them two separate videos. All right, thanks. Have a nice day.